Hello fellow murderers, today is Monday, April 22nd, 2024, and it's a great day to solve a murder. Today we have the mystery of the corpse monks crumbling statues, and we have three 4x4 grids of suspects, locations, and weapons. We will have a red murder clue today, and that is that the forest ranger's body was found amongst crumbling statues, alright, just as the title would suggest. I know yesterday's title did not wind up having anything to do with the murder, but um, this one seems to be a bit more of a one-to-one -one there. So I believe that is going to be the Ancient Ruins. And let's see, I want to just double check that there's nothing else that suggests crumbling statues now. I think that's it. Okay, so the Ancient Ruins is going to be our murder location today. And we will go ahead and use our detective's notebook and our clues and evidence to figure out who was at the ancient ruins and what weapon they brought there. So let's go ahead and meet today's suspects. We have Brother Brownstone, Father Mango, Sir Rulian, and Vicomte Eminence. The weapons today are a bow and arrow, poisoned tea, a pencil, and a poisonous spider. And the locations today are the Old Pine, the ancient ruins, which is of course our murder location today, Party Lake and the Hot Springs Spa. I'm second guessing myself again just because I really want to see crumbling statues written out. Do, 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 do. I'm not seeing crumbling statues. Okay, I'm gonna let it let it be. We're just gonna say it's the ancient ruins and we're gonna be okay with the fact that it's not an immediate one-to-one. -one. Okay, so a brown hair was found at the Hot Springs Spa. Let's check out our suspects and see who had brown hair. We do have Brother Brownstone, not Father Mango, not Cerulean, could be Vicol Eminence as well though. So that just tells us that one of these two must have been at the Hot Springs Spa. So what we can do is we can mark those two in with question marks here and put the other two suspects as no for the Hot Springs Spa. Oh. Okay, this is funny. I've seen this once before where the spirit writing just comes through as is. Okay, so pencil was discovered under cold water. I guess it's going to be the lake. Ice cold waters. Okay, pencil. Lake. Okay. Whoever was by the old pine was left-handed. Okay, we've got the old pine and our suspects. We've got left-handed, left-handed, right-handed, left-handed. Oh my gosh. Okay, so everybody was left-handed except for Sir Rulian, who is right-handed. So what that tells us is just that Sir Rulian was not by the old pine. And I'm not gonna put in question marks for the others. It's not really necessary. Okay, Vicol Eminence had a lightweight weapon, so let's check out our weapons and see what's lightweight. We've got medium weight for the bow and arrow, heavy weight for the poison tea, lightweight for the pencil, so that could be it, and lightweight for the poisonous spider. So let's go ahead and say it was either the pencil or the poisonous spider, and not the cup of tea, which is heavyweight, kind of interesting, and not the bow and arrow, which is medium weight. Okay, so it's one of these two, so we have those question marks in. Um, the second shortest suspect had a pencil, so that may tell us even more about Vicon Eminence as well because it may confirm whether uh, Vicon Eminence had the pencil or the spider. So let's see, the second shortest. So we've got 5'4", 5'10", 5'8", and 5'2". So that's going to be 5'4", Brother Brownstone. So Brother Brownstone had the pencil. That will also give us Brother Brownstone's location and Vicol Eminence's weapon. So you can mark those in as well. So Brother Brownstone's location then must have been the Party Lake. So that's also going to answer who was at the Hot Springs, and that was Vicol Eminence. And again, that was one of the brown-haired suspects, and that was between Brother Brownstone and Vicol Eminence. And now we know Vicol Eminence had the spider at the Hot Springs. Okay, there's a lot of info there. Okay, Sir Rulian was suspicious of the person who brought poison tea. So again, with these types of clues, we just know that that means Sir Rulian did not bring poison tea um, because it's separating Sir Rulian from the person who did bring the poison tea. So that means Sir Rulian must have had the bow and arrow and Father Mango must have had the cup of poison tea. 
We also can see here from process of elimination that Father Mango was by the Old Pines. Um, yeah, the Old Pine, singular, not plural. And then that also will tell us that Sir Rulian was our murderer today at the ancient ruins with a bow and arrow. So let me go ahead and mark that in. We've got Sir Rulian with a bow and arrow at the ancient ruins. I'm just gonna take an extra two seconds and there's the completed detective's notebook. So let's go ahead and see if we were right. With Sir Rulian, a bow and arrow at the ancient ruins. All right, we were right. Thanks so much for playing along with me today. I hope this was a helpful walkthrough and we'll see you tomorrow.